right now on News Channel 8 at 6. We're joyriding in my car while I'm sitting here having to walk everywhere. It sounds like something right out of a movie, but one Bay Area man says his car was taken on a mysterious joyride. Good evening, I'm Keith Kate. And I'm Stacy Scheibel. Victor Odo says his Jeep was at a Clearwater mechanic shop for three weeks. And when he got it back, he realized something was wrong. Yeah, he received sun pass charges as well as parking tickets, and one of them from a Tampa beach at 1 o'clock in the morning. And that's when he knew he'd better call Bacon. Eight on your side, investigator Shannon Bacon is here now. You're trying to get to the bottom of all of this. We are, and he is furious, Victor is. He wants to know who, he wants these tickets cleared up, and he wants to know who used his Jeep and why. When Victor Odo dropped off his 2003 Jeep Liberty at a Clearwater repair shop, he never dreamed it would see more of the Bay Area than him. People were joyriding in my car while I'm sitting here having to walk everywhere. Odo says he dropped off the Jeep at Mustang Speed and Restoration in Clearwater, January 15th, because the engine light was on. These text messages between him and the owner document three weeks of slow progress before he finally picked up the Jeep February 6th. Then came parking tickets in the mail. On the 18th, a Saturday, at 12.58 a.m., somebody got this $40 ticket at BT Davis Beach. Then at 5.11 p.m. the same day, somebody got this $30 ticket for an expired meter at Clearwater Beach. Interesting test drive, huh? But wait, there's more. On January 23rd, the following Thursday, when it was still in the repair shop's custody, these two sun pass charges on the Skyway Bridge. And Victor says when he cleaned up, he found sand in the back seat, these clothing tags, and a pink lacy thong. But you're 100% sure that was not in your car when you dropped it off. I'm 1,000% sure of that one. Yes, that was not there. Do you want to know who took your vehicle and what they did with it? Yes, I would love to know. Who took my car and what they did with it? Yeah. Do you want that person held accountable? Oh, most definitely. I want the person to lose their job. I mean, that's just not right to take anybody's car like that. I took Victor's concerns to the shop and found owner Jeff Arthur. So it sounds like somebody was joyriding in his vehicle. Okay, well, it wasn't me. At so. first, he insisted yeah. none of this happened. That guy's, that guy's crazy. He's crazy? How? Yeah. I don't know. Where would you make that up at? Then he suggested letting a judge decide. That's what civil courts for, letting bring the ticket up here. It's a $40 ticket. Yeah, $40. Your time, your time is only worth $40? $40 ticket. Then he has a, another dollar of the Skyway. He says he has a thousand miles on his vehicle while it was supposed impossible. to be here fixed. Now it's not impossible. fixed. And there was women's underwear in the back seat. Oh, I don't like your attitude, so all that weirdo. Clearly, I hit a nerve. So I followed up by phone, and Jeff tells me the only person that could have used this Jeep is, get this, in jail on murder charges. Of course, that led to a lot more questions that he did not want to answer, but he insists that the alleged murder occurred after Victor picked up his Jeep. Meanwhile, Victor is furious that he may never know what in the world happened in his Jeep. Jeff did tell me that he was willing to pay for the tickets, but Victor says he has not reached out to him about that. Meanwhile, Victor plans to dispute these tickets in court because he is a commercial driver and he worries that these tickets could impact his license and his ability to work. Oh, my goodness. You think if you rent a car and put a thousand miles on it, it costs money to do that. Absolutely. So as far as authorities, are they investigating? Well, yes. Victor tells me that he filed a complaint with Florida's Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services. They oversee mechanic shops, and a spokesman tells me that this is under investigation. So we will continue to follow up to find out what they discover when they look into this. Mm. Weirdo. Weirdo. <laughs> called you a weirdo. He did. That's he did. not nice. Anyway, I've been called worse. Anyway. <laughs> All right, if you have a problem that needs solving, you better call Bank and the telephone number is on your screen, 1-855-BANK. And you can also see all of Shannon's stories and how she's gotten results in the past. In several cases, go to the free WFLA app.